cool. I have a tool waiting to be told. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and their guests. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My sign, <coughs> my two wheeler BMW. <coughs> Open air, blue in color, air driven. Marriage, not sure, depending on the land. My earliest form of freedom and an accomplishment for a 90s kid rather than winning a Candy Crush level 240. So my parents gifted me on my 7th birthday a unisex hero cycle. As you all know, things definitely look beautiful until we try them out. Same was the situation with me. Beauty lies in seeing and pain lies in trying. So my father started, decided to coach me on my winter, during my winter vacations. It had to be a 20 days affair. First day, I was, I sat on the cycle and, and I behaved as if I were with the cross of Doom 3. <laughs> and I was music playing, Doom Machalai. <laughs> Swag and happiness is never constant. The transition from Hrithik Roshan of Dhoom 3 to Shar Kapoor of Golmal was really very really good. So, I was really passionate and I started focusing on it. My dad, my dad was really very excited to coach me. Little did he realize, days passed, my dad lost calories, not me. And the Tushar Kapoor in me became a constant. Fast forward to 20th day, I still hadn't learned to ride bicycle all by myself. My father, with each day, a new excitement. Little did he know that all the 19 days of his hard dedication would be a waste of his time. To increase the guilt, a fellow five-year-old kid passing by said to his father, Papa, you need to keep the baby cool I'm excited to have a CP nearby. Dad, this girl is so silly, she wouldn't learn to ride bicycle all by herself till now. That really killed me inside. Suddenly, I was Priyanka Chopra of Maricom. My dad, now a bit different. So, he asked me to ride the bicycle again. <coughs> there was something really coming from this side, I was sure. So, the speed was increasing. I could feel myself in air. It felt like I was dive, I was biking in the beautiful pavements of Ladakh. I opened my eyes, only to see that I reached the dead end. Which in my case, was an open lane. <laughs> After a few seconds, they were one of the biggest holocausts of my life. And I woke up again to see that I was surrounded by a crowd that really resembled Indian diversity. However, there was one person who was missing. That was my dad. I was searching for him. There my eyes stuck. I could see the pride and valor in his eyes that led. The warrior has won the scar and conquered the battlefield. Now time to celebrate the homecoming. That day, my cycle and my father taught me two things. You need to go <coughs> to learn to get up. And secondly, always appreciate the presence of critics like that kid. They can motivate you more than anything in this life. The fear was all gone. I had realized the pain on falling was way lesser than the satisfaction on achieving. Then from since that day onwards, I haven't, I couldn't, I, ha I haven't forgotten cycling. Knowing this, my family members were really very, very excited, especially my grandmother, <coughs> who is a big time foodie. She always expected me to get something from the local markets. So this time, I tried to flatter my cycling skills and became a 10 minutes Domino's delivery girl. Days passed, demands increased, I tried to respect the law of demand and reduce my supply. Little did I know, my mom, my mom's supply of those Shinchan type buns would be increasing. <coughs> so, I again, again in the hustle and bustle of fighting and everything, my mom suddenly came to my rescue. <coughs> she told me, Sneha, why don't you charge for each trip that you made to the local market? That was a really good thing for a Marwari. So that really that was that really enticed me as well as my piggy bank. From that day onwards, I made it a ritual. I would go before going to bed and after waking up, I would check my piggy bank to see if no one has taken even a penny from it. My granddad 
Now started taking me to the temple, nearby temple, and asked me to spend a bit of my savings to feed cows, dogs, and birds turn by turn. <clears throat> Again, these four people, my cycle, and pers I'm personifying my cycle as a person. Secondly, my grandmom, my mother, and my granddad taught me three things: how to earn money, how to respect money, and and most importantly, how to spend it wisely. We all, my cycle has been an integral part of my life. I have years passed, my cycle with same length, breadth and height. I with an increased length, breadth and height. <laughs> yes, but it did strike me. That meant a change in my most prized possession. That is my cycle. <clears throat> So my dad, now, now considering my gender, bought me a ladybird that was very quickly flown away by a thief. <laughs> so now I'm again using a hero cycle that I've borrowed from my cousin. My cycle again cycled itself to a hero cycle. My cycle has been an integral part of my life. It has been there in crucial stages. I wonder, I wonder what the future generation will be up to. Will their knowledge about cycle be limited to museum or exclamations like, hey, look at that cool thing with two wheels. I wonder who used to ride it and how they used to balance it. Let's ask Google. Hey Google, did Elon Musk ever ride a bicycle? Thank you.